Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install SQLite on Windows machine. Also, I will be showing you how to create a sample database using it. So, let's start the video. You can open many of your favorite browser and just search for SQLite download. Now you can see the search result. Here is the official website sqlite.org. Let me click on this link. Okay, it has redirected me to download page and here you can see different downloads available. Downloads for Android, Linux, Mac and Windows. I am going to download for Windows and in this I will be selecting this option SQLite tools. It is going to provide me command line shell. So this is a zip file. Let me click on this link. Okay, so it has started downloading and my download is done because this is hardly few MB file. Now I'll extract this file. So let me click on this. Okay, so I'm just saving it on my desktop. Okay, let me take you to desktop and here you can see my extracted file. This is what extracted file and this is the application which is nothing but SQLite application. So I will be copying this exe and I am going to paste this inside my c colon by creating a new folder. So let me just create a new folder. So here new folder and I am going to give name to this folder as SQLite 3 and I will paste this application over here. Now then I have to copy this path and this path I will be setting in environmental variable. So here I will type env. So this is going to open environmental variable. Let me minimize this. And now in advanced tab there is an option environmental variable. I will be just clicking on this button. Now in system variable I will be selecting path and I will be clicking on edit button. And here I need to click on new button and then I will paste my copied path and finally click on OK, OK and one more time OK. Okay, my path for SQLite is set. Now I am going to start command prompt. So just type CMD and here I am going to show you version of SQLite. So just type SQLite hyphen hyphen version and press enter. You can see it is showing me 3.39.0. So this is nothing but latest version of SQLite. Now I will be showing you how to create database. So for that I will be first creating one folder. So let me just go to any of my drive. So in my E drive I am having Sunita folder. So I will be starting command prompt from here. Otherwise what you can do you can change the directory and you can reach to Sunita folder. So let me start one more command prompt just by typing cmd. So now my command prompt has been started with a directory e colon sunita. I am going to type command sqlite. 3 and the database name I am giving database name as CS corner and extension I will be giving as dot dv. Now after this I will be typing dot database and you can see it is showing me my database path that is e colon sunita CS corner db read write permission is there. Okay now let's go to this path and check it out whether database is created or not. So I will be going to my directory. Here you can see cscorner.db is there which is nothing but database file. So this way you can install SQLite and you can create sample databases also. So I hope this video has helped you. If yes then don't forget to hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can comment in comment box. I will be surely replying to your queries. If you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching my video. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.